Building AI apps usually takes hours of coding, design, and complex logic. But what if you could skip all of that and create a full app in under 60 seconds just by typing a simple prompt? Introducing Opal AI by Google, a no-code, prompt-based app builder that makes creating smart mini-apps as easy as chatting with an AI. This is Parvez Durrani and you are watching Guru Tech Solutions. Once you land on the home page of Opal AI, you'll notice that you can build, edit and share mini AI apps just by using natural language. Right below that, you'll see your own Opal apps, the ones you've already created. And underneath, there's a gallery showing apps built by other Opal AI users from around the world. Now, at the top of the page, you'll see the label Experimental next to Opal. This means the tool is currently in beta or experimental phase, and it's only available in the USA. To access it, you'll need to use a VPN and set your location to the United States. Let's go ahead and create a new app. Click on Create New and you'll be taken to the App Building Dashboard. If you want a quick overview of how to build your app, you can also check out the demo video available here. Now here's how it works. At the top, you'll see a visual workflow. First, you enter your input. Then Opal processes it and generates a result, which is finally shown as your app's output. Below that, there's a prompt box where you can describe what kind of app you want to build. And on the right side, you'll get a live preview of your app. Let's not waste any time. Let's enter our prompt. Generate a flashcard app for learning basic Spanish vocabulary with image support. Hit enter. And there you go. Opal AI instantly builds the entire workflow for us. You'll see that it starts by defining the vocabulary topic, then creates a vocabulary list. After that, it generates image descriptions and Spanish audio, followed by flashcard images. And finally, it builds the full flashcard app. Now let's check out a preview of the app by clicking Start. To test it, let's enter the word Book. Let's see how it gets translated into Spanish and how the app handles it. During the process, you'll see animations going through the steps of each node in the workflow. Once it's done, you'll see our flashcards are ready. You can click on a card to flip it. It will show you the word along with an image, making it super easy to learn. There's also an audio button. You can click on the speaker icon to hear the correct Pagina Spanish page. pronunciation. And just like that, you can explore all the other cards generated by the app. Now, if you want to change the theme of your app, just click on the theme option. Then click Generate Random Theme and Opal will automatically apply a new design style for your app. If you'd like to view your app in full screen, simply click on the App Preview and it will expand to show the full interface in full screen mode. Let's say you want to add a new node to your workflow. Click on the User Input node and a new node will be added to the flow. From here, you can manually define its functionality, rearrange it, or connect it to other nodes. But if you want the AI to do the heavy lifting, just describe what you want in the input box, and Opal AI will automatically arrange and structure the nodes for you. Now, let's try exporting our app. First, we'll rename it. Let's call it Spanish Learning Opal App. Then click on the Share App option. Here, you'll find a toggle to make your app public or private. If you want to share it with others, just turn the public toggle on. You can also copy the link from here and share it externally with anyone. It's super simple. Now, let's explore the gallery section, where you'll find apps created by other Opal users. Let's check out this one called Learning with YouTube. This app turns any YouTube video into an interactive quiz, making learning more engaging. Let's click the Remix button to open it in the editor. This allows us to customize it and make changes to suit our own needs. We can tweak the workflow, edit existing nodes, or add new nodes, just like we did with our own app. Now let's test this app by clicking Start. Here's what we need to do. First, copy a YouTube video link, paste it into the input box, and then click Start again. The app will now extract the video transcript along with all relevant information from the video. Once that's done, it will automatically generate an analysis report and an interactive quiz based on the video content.
If you want, you can also watch the video directly inside the app. The analysis report gives you a quick summary, so you can grasp the core idea of the video without even watching the whole thing. And right here is the interactive quiz, built from the video itself to reinforce your learning. So that's how easy it is to build powerful apps using Opal AI by Google. It's super simple and beginner-friendly. You can literally build full AI-powered apps in under 60 seconds using just text prompts. Give it a try and see what you can create. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on more videos like this one.